of hair. We're here with Yuka Sasso, who just opened her 2022 LPGA Tour season with a four under 68. Yuka, that was uh, an exciting round for you. Lots of ups, a couple downs, but I want to ask you, tell us about your eagle on 14. That's a pretty, uh, a pretty fun hole out there for you. Yeah, uh, firstly, I'm very thankful that, you know, I was able to play in this event. Um, and yeah, uh, ups and downs, like you said, and um, that eagle, um, that was unexpected, but I really hit a good shot. Um, landed probably a feet um, left of the hole and sp spin back and went in. Surprise, but yeah, that was, that was really good. How far out were you and what club did you use? Um, I think that was 60, around 60, and I hit a 60 degree wedge. Wedge. Awesome. That was a fun experience playing with two really tall baseball players in John Lester and Tom Glavin. Have mm -hmm. you done anything like this before, like this event? This is something very different for us. Um, no, this is my first time, so uh, it was very fun. Um, and yeah, we talked a little and yeah, it was really good. Were you familiar with, with who they were at all? Um, I knew they were a baseball player, but I I have no idea what they've done or what they do, so I, I ask a lot of questions. <laughs> do awesome. you do you, you follow baseball in Japan? Um, or the Philippines? You more know? like um, baseball here in yeah. America, but not as much. Um, I mean, I like baseball, but I'm not very like I'm not fan of any any teams, but I like watching. Well, you had two, two, of the, two of some of the best pitchers. Yeah, of all I know. Time. So I've asked them a few um, tips because I like throwing too. <laughs> awesome. Overall, how did you spend your off season? Did you get to go home at all? And what were your preparations for this event? Um, yeah, I went back home in Japan and spent time with uh, family and spent a good Christmas there. Um, it was really good. Um, I didn't really do much anything. I slept a lot and played a lot with my brothers and sisters. <laughs> And when did you come back to the States? How long have you been um, back here? Before, Chris, uh, before New Year, uh, December 31st. And, uh, and you've been looking for a place to live here. Have you got a house or anywhere? Yeah, uh, we rented a house in Dallas. Dallas area? Yeah, Dallas. We'll open it up for questions. Start here with Jeff. You followed up the Eagle with a couple birdies. Could you tell us about those? Um, so hole number... I don't remember 15, the 15, 16, 15, I think. 15 is a par 5, but yeah, um, I hit a good drive, um, I had 238 um, for a second shot in two, um, hit it a little cut, but um, left myself around 35 yards for a third shot, and yeah, I chipped it really good, probably three feet, and yeah, made a birdie, and then 16, um, I hit a good tee shot again with my three wood, I had 150 or so. I hit an air iron and I had probably 15 feet to the hole and yeah, made the putt. <laughs> and do you, do you, have you played this course a fair amount? Uh, um, first time this week, yeah. First time this week? Yeah. yeah. And what do you think of the challenge? What's the biggest challenge of it? Um, wind and around the greens. Um, wind can get really tricky and around the greens because the grass is so um, short, very tight. Um, so yeah, I, I want to hit um, as much as possible in greens. <laughs> Steve? Yuka, I watched you warm up this morning. You hit six three woods and you didn't be, seem to be happy with any of them. Yeah. Uh, what were you working on and how did you turn it around during, during the round? Um, well, I wasn't really expecting anything um, to go good because you know, this is our first tournament and I didn't do much anything at the off season. So I'm trying to get the tempo, but obviously I wasn't able to hit like the way I wanted to. So I just trying to, you know, stay calm and just not really think about it. More like, you know, the feel of hitting the ball. Is there kind of an art to low expectations? You're keeping your expectations low. Um, I think so, yeah, it, 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 made, it made me, um, a little relaxed before hitting the shots with Deerwood or any any other shots because I have not, not much expectation with it. <laughs> and now having been out here for several months, uh, I know you've got Jeff Chilcote as your agent yes. now and you've been, you've been trying to get a few more uh, sponsor deals and business deals put together. Are you more comfortable in this setting now than you were, say, right after the Open? Um, yeah, I feel... Uh, 
um, I, I know I'm still, I still have a lot of things to learn, but you know, having a good team that who, who supports me and you know that gives me maybe maybe not more, but a little confidence. Um, with playing, so yeah, having my sponsors, um, new sponsors, um, it's really great. And having, you know, like I said, having a good team really helped help me. I think. We're good. Thanks so much, Yuka. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, we've got Wells.